السلام عليكم معنا الدكتور طارق الكندري I'm a general practitioner dentist uh, in a governmental clinic I deal with teeth I'll be talking today about dentistry and the most common questions we have and or we get while doing dental treatment Our first topic is that I want to talk about what is the dentist or who is the dentist The dentist is a person who takes care of our teeth actually but that's not the only thing we focus on Actually, people don't know that, but most dentists are dealt with the maxillary area or the face area in general, uh, even the neck sometimes. Uh, dental surgeons are involved in face accidents or traumas, so they do deal with other specialties. So it's not only about teeth, it's about the whole area or the face itself. But I'll be talking about majors and stuff actually. My major, as I said, is a general practitioner where I deal with tiny bits of everything. But there are other specialities. For example, you have something called pedodontics, where they deal with kids' teeth. It's a major, it's a population. It's really important, actually, because a huge population of the community itself is, is, is focused on kids. And you have other specialities like endodontics, where they, where they deal with the nerves of the teeth itself. And you have uh, oral medicine, oral pathologists, where they deal in diseases or common signs and symptoms of other diseases that they mostly common or occur in the area around the teeth or the teeth themselves. Uh, so there are many specialities in dentistry. Uh, normally when a patient comes in to us, uh, the most important thing we focus on is their teeth and oral health. But that's the only thing, as I said, sometimes there are signs and symptoms of other disease. So if we, if we saw anything, we would focus on, for example, if we saw bleeding, spontaneous bleeding by itself or, or, or inflammations or ulcers or whatever, we might tell the patient and focus them and tell them to go to the specialized doctor himself for other types of treatment. So it's really important to know that uh, you have to know these things because uh, whenever the patient comes, they, only, they don't ask, they don't, they don't know. They only think, okay, this, I'll just open up my mouth and just uh, remove the pain and that's it. No, there are other things, you have to know that. Uh, there are many specialities, as I said, uh, but for us, as a person or, as a, or a normal person with no complications or problems, you'll just have to go to the dentist regularly and then uh, focus on the treatment. It always starts by yourself, actually. Most people, they don't know that or they think that the dentist will solve their problems, but that's wrong, actually, because it's really important to know that you have, you have the first step. You by yourself, when in your home, in your office, you have to change the way you think about yourself, the way you take care, because uh, in any dental treatment, or not even dental, any medical treatment actually, the first and the most important thing is that the patient himself, if he doesn't take care, if he doesn't know, that's a serious problem, because uh, you always need to follow up. No matter what was the situation or the disease, you have to follow up. You have to know what are the problems, complication of the treatment itself. How do I take care of myself? Always ask. And as a dentist, I know that uh, people are scared of us all the time, but you shouldn't be actually. Because you have to understand, it, it's, it's, it's a, I know teeth ache are painful, are extremely bad, but this is our job. We have to make things easier for you. So always come, don't be shy. Uh, thank God here in Kuwait we are, we have plentiful, plenty uh, clinics and uh, even, even at night we have night shifts, uh, people come all the time, uh, so it's easy actually. Treatments provided all over Kuwait, no matter what the area you live on, but you have to know these things, these tiny details that's which are important actually because uh, these steps will make life easier for you. Uh, I'll be talking about in the next episode also, or the, the next half, sorry, I'll be talking about uh, how to take care of your teeth. So stay tuned.
Hi, welcome back. Uh, I'll be talking to now right now about uh, how to take care of our teeth. There are three major simple steps, quite simple actually. You have, for example, the most important toothbrushing or brushes. You have a variety of them. Uh, and you have tooth floss. Flossing is quite important because people, they don't floss. And a mouthwash. I'll be talking in details about them. Uh, for the for the toothbrushing, it's quite simple. You have so many, so many types. You have at least four types of toothbrushes actually. Hard, medium, soft, or fine. And you have the new ones, ultra fine or ultra soft. Uh, it quite depends on yourself because, for example, if you have a big body or big muscles, um, some people might uh, put too much force on the brush and the teeth. So that by time would lead to some problems. So I do recommend people that use not the soft or hard ones, but to use something in between. For example, I do recommend myself that to have two brushes at least, for example, medium and the soft one. Medium at night with a, with a moderate force actually, because you want to remove the food debris that accumulate on your teeth. So you need a certain force uh, with the angulation, of course, keep going in a straight way. And then imagine your teeth while with vertical strokes, taking out the food debris between the teeth. But as I said, with moderate force, because sometimes if you apply too much force, this could be harmful to the teeth. Because in a way, it's like polishing. Imagine you have a wall or something, a stain on the wall, and you polish it with sandpaper. You don't want to have uh, too much aggressive sandpapers. It might eat too much. Even if you had soft ones, it might not clean it well. So the same principle, actually. And when I wake up in the morning, there's nothing, I've already brushed, but you have to brush uh, because there are fluoride and there are uh, uh, flavoring agents and, and they will give you a good smell in your oral cavity. Uh, so we do recommend to brush twice a day and in the morning use a soft brush and that's it. Always brush for two minutes. Why two minutes? Because there is, as I said, there's an ingredient called fluoride in teeth and, or in toothpaste which helps make teeth stronger against bacteria or against caries in general. And uh, it sometimes it does need two minutes to activate. So even after you finish, I recommend people not to, not to wash their mouth because it's the same principle. If, imagine you put a cream on your hand and then you wash it. It's like, what's the point then? No, uh, if, it's, if it's annoying because some people, they don't like the taste, you can just rinse your mouth a tiny bit, see, that's it. And if not, just keep it, because as the same principle, you want you want for it to be as much as possible, so the teeth will be as much as possible and get all the benefit from them. And then the second thing is the flossing. People always neglect flossing because they say it's annoying having a floss and it takes too much time. But that's wrong actually, because flossing is so good, because no matter how much you brush, the the gap between the teeth won't be cleaned. So you have to use a floss. But there is a new invention called water pick, which, the, which, which like a, it's like a device that sprays water around the teeth. But I do recommend people about it because the studies showed that it's, uh, it cleans much better than the regular flossing. But the thing is that it's technique sensitive. You have to have a 90 degree angle. If you don't, you might harm the gingiva or you might not clean it. So you have to be careful while you, zo while you use water pick. So I do recommend people to, to use both actually. For example, I'll, I'll, I'll use water pick for today and the right angulation and, and everything. And tomorrow I'll use the regular floss. And you have toothpicks. To, yeah, yeah, and the important thing, most people they tell me I wanna use toothpick after I finish food. That's wrong, don't use toothpicks because it's harmful, it's not good. It does, it does harm the gingiva or the, the tissue between the teeth. They only use it when people with, with gaps. And the last thing is mouthwash. Mouthwash is quite important. Use the mouthwash uh, after food or after lunch or dinner. Don't mix it with um, toothpaste. That's something and that's something else. And always use mouthwashes for 30 seconds. Last thing is that there is a new update regarding mouthwashes. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's antibacterial. So sometimes if you aggressively use it, it might lead to other problems. So we do recommend now people that use it every couple of days. That's it. And thank you so much.